Guys, welcome to 180 Drums. Stanley Randolph. <laughs> I'm here. Oh, man, that was awesome. Look at this guy. What? what no. is, I think we're going to do a lesson where you just teach us all this stuff. No, this <laughs> how to do a really cheesy intro. Right. <laughs> all right, guys, here's how you introduce yourself when you're on 180 Drums. <laughs> hey, look, when I'm in rehearsal and I'm tired, bro, I I'm just like in the most goofiest mood. Amazing. I'll be like, all right, let's count it off. <laughs> <laughs> the most goofiest uh, crap ever. Well, we are about to learn a drum lesson. That is what's about to happen. Yeah, for I'm, sure. I'm really excited for this one, man. This is a killer one. Why don't you run us through this Latin groove? Yes, for sure. I'll play it slow. Um, First of all, who taught you this? Fausto Cuevas. Ooh, uh, percussion Cuevas. player with Stevie. Um, Stevie has a song, uh, da, 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 da. Don't You Worry About a Thing. Mm. Um, at the end of the song, he goes into a Latin groove. When I first got on the gig, everybody has their version of a Latin groove. Like, like that, you know, everybody has their You're version. You're looking at me, is that the way you think I play No, I don't, I, I haven't heard you play a Latin group. <laughs> no, but um, when I got on the gig, Fausto, he's a, he's a real, like, he takes it serious. And he's like, yeah, bro, you know, I need you, he's like, you should. Oh, he pulled you aside. Yeah, he yeah, pulled me aside, he, he did. And, and, I, and I love that, man, because I, I love to learn the culture, and, and, yeah. and I want to play the right thing. Yeah. I want people to feel like it's authentic, so. Dude, if there's anything, not to interrupt you, if there's anything I've noticed about you, it's that you went back, you said when you did the Stevie thing, you went back, even after already being on the gig. Mm -hmm. Like, you're already, you're already acing it, but you went back and, like, honored the history, so that's, yeah, that's a part of, of what course, you do, man. man. Because that's what made it a hit. Right. And I love hits. I love playing hits, man, because people, I, and I love, I love to keep it, Simple and authentic because when people hear it, yeah, they relate to it. It totally. takes them back, and they—that's how you get a crowd to lose their mind when they hear. Wow. It. You know when people hear that, it's like, oh my god, they know exactly off the bat what yeah, it is, yeah, you know. Yeah. So anyway, the Latin group. Um, I learned this from Fosto. He um, pulled you aside, pulled me aside, and yeah, and tradition. Show, yeah, he showed me some stuff that I could. A foundation. Show me a foundation yeah. that I could build from, and so I've just basically taken it and over years evolved and evolved with it. I'm very comfortable with it, so um, I'll play it. I'll play it slow, and we can start from there. The ride and uh, the hi hat they have a great combo interaction yeah. with each other. Then I can add um, the snare drum and the tom. Yes, and I'll do it slowly because okay. it's this. So this is one e and a two e and a three e and a four e yep. and a one. And the right hand's going a ding 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 ding. ding. I'll play it slow. So that really is just one pattern. You're it's keeping that pattern. consistent the whole time. The kick was just on the uh and then on the ands. Mm -hmm. So uh and. Mm -hmm. It's one pattern and you just move it around, give it a little swag, you know. Yeah, yeah. Add surprising little elements here and there. Yeah. And, you know? What's so beautiful about Latin culture in general is the way it's like this, um, the the push and pull yeah. of the of the meter, right? It's yes. like the. Da, 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 da. It's like late. It's expectant. There's so much, you know, uh, call and answer. Right. Everything, exactly. Right. Exactly. And that's one thing I had to I had to kind of learn because the way I used to play it, I used to be overbearing. I would right. take away from. Yes. It's you know Latin culture is really more percussion. If you listen to an authentic Latin band, there's no drum kit. Yeah. There's no kick drum. Wow. 
Wow. You know what I'm saying? There's no yeah. kick drum, there's no snare. All it's they had cool, was man. bongos, congas, timbales, bells, claves. And the bass player was the kick drum, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, and man, it's just it's some good it's So rich, man. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's very rich. The, the way they have that communication, that yes. lock, it's just, I love it. So, at it, b- being a drummer, having to play and ha- had to learn how to play that and stay out of their way right at the same time so yeah. sometimes it was just easy for you know Fossil showed me that groove it was easy just to play that groove and every now and then add in a you know what I'm saying every yes. now and then so yes it was yeah but do you want to play this full speed for us for sure we'll do that Yeah. Also, yeah. One thing I, I was always like, I was like, wait a minute. One, two, I was like trying to okay. I always for some reason this is my best friend. This is like my click, you know, that's that's my best friend. I, I usually put that in almost every beat that I play for some reason. It just yeah, gives it that, I noticed that man. It just gives it gives it that um mm. the glue. I call it the it's like the glue <laughs> that puts the groove together, you know, because you could just play it normal. And that's cool. You can play it that way, and that's cool, but it's just adding that just gives it that. Yeah. Glues it together, so. So how did he go about teaching you this? Well, is he a drum set player as well? Yeah, and and one thing about Fosto, he was also in military. Oh, cool! Man, so a we Latin both guy that was in military. Yeah, so we both we both. Um, Excuse me, if that's a common thing, but that sounds pretty interesting. That's it's very so interesting. I, I love it because I love it because before shows, me and him, we have. Um, you know the sticks with the rubber tips, the yes, practice sticks. Yes, yes, And bro, we just sit there on the table all day and just go through rudiments and stuff like oh, that to warm up. Oh, so man. he showed me. Um, he showed it to me. Actually, he just showed me the pattern that I showed you guys first. Yeah, he showed me. Mind, that. You know what? Do you mind playing that for a minute slow with the kick pattern sure, to give no students problem. a chance to actually play along with you? Sure. So he taught you that first, mm-hmm. and then and then he showed me. He was like, you know, that's the foundation. Yeah. You know, you treat the bell of your ride as if it's the cowbell. <laughs> so you treat the bell as if that's the yard. And imagine that the, you know, usually the clavier is doing. But so he didn't want me to do that on the hi hat because that would get in the way of right. the clavier. So he yes. taught me. Yeah, I was getting, getting progressively more nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he, he so that's a two that. three. Is that sauna rumba? I can't remember. I think that's a rumba. 
It might be a rip out. Because the difference is just that the, on the end of the four, so one and two and three and four, uh, one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a, as opposed to one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. Right. Right. Yeah, right. Down. Yeah. I can't remember. It's terrible. I can't remember in this moment, but that sounds <laughs> awesome, and I like that it lines up at the very end. Yeah. So that's I, the answer, right? Mm -hmm. It's the it's the whole foundation. So he showed me that, and then he just he was like, "Yeah, man, you can take that and you can add a snare." <laughs> Crash here or do little stuff here and there that's just yeah, like yeah. out of the way and just go back to the groove. It's just little moments that are surprising. Right. What is? What are some safe things to add in? What would um, you? So, uh, so say I'm a drummer. I'm like, man, yeah, stand. I've got I'll this show down. You, I'll show you the very first one he showed me. A very a lick. It was um. I still use it to this day. It's just like cool, old school feel good to me. Man. It feels so great because the bass room just lets everybody know right away. Oh, God. yeah, right? cool man. For sure, that sounds amazing. Yeah. Right, is there anything else that he taught you after that for fills? Um, that... actually, after he showed me that, I kind of just took it in my cool. own and just big shout out to this guy, man. Yeah, and just took you know evolved it on my own. Did Very my own cool. thing, so. Awesome, dude. That's a great lesson, man. You want to play so? For sure. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you at the end. Ah. Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, um, right? Uh huh. Tripping it for sure. <laughs> you slow down at all? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> 